Hi, Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film, which those of you who are just finishing year 11 will be one of the last of my films that you watch. Now, I want to talk today very briefly about next week, when, of course, all of you who have finished year 11 will be receiving your IGCSE and your GCSE results. It's a big week, and it'll be a big day, and I guess you're feeling nervous, perhaps, excited, perhaps, and keen to see if all your hard work has paid off. Well, the first thing I wanted to say, of course, was that, gosh, let's hope your hard work has paid off. And I really hope that you are pleased with your grades and, of course, with your maths grade in particular. By the way, while you continue to watch this film, why not tell me in the comments what maths grade you are hoping for next week? I wanted to talk really about results day and just briefly about how you might feel when you get your results and some of them aren't as you hope, or perhaps just one of them isn't as you hope, but let's hope they're all as you, as you want them to be. But of course, for many people, there will be a, a, an amount of disappointment next week because there'll be one grade or, or, or perhaps more than one grade that isn't as high as you were hoping for. And really, I wanted to talk to those of you who might get your maths grade and might be disappointed with that. So here are some things to remember as you collect your grades next week. First of all, we all have times when despite our hard work and despite our best efforts, things don't go exactly as we would like. And while it's going to feel quite raw, at the time, of course, it's important to remember that we all go through those times. Now, of course, it's okay to be disappointed, it's okay to be irked, and it's okay to be angry and upset. But try to remember that your grade does not define you, okay? You are so much more than that number on that piece of paper. You have talents, you have passions, you have dreams, and none of those are reflected by the number on that piece of paper that you receive next week. So while it might be difficult to do this at the time, and, and gosh, of course it will be if you get a result that you're disappointed with, try to remember that these exam results are not the end of your story, but they're just one just one chapter. And what matters, of course, is how you choose to move forward from here. And of course, that matters whether you're pleased with your exam results or not. Your exam results, whatever they are, are in the bag now. And what's important is how you choose to move forward. So yes, okay, grades can open doors, but they don't decide your worth. It's your resilience that does that. It's your creativity. It's your kindness. These are the things that will make you truly successful in life. So please remember that whatever your grades next week and however you feel about them, your future is in your hands. So keep going and remember, you're so much more than just a grade. 